Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you my summer home decor and I'm gonna start in my entryway. So on my door, this is the wreath that I have hanging on the inside of my door. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I do a wreath on the inside and the outside because I'm just extra, I guess, <laughs> but I like the look of it. So on the inside of the door, I just have this lamb's ear wreath that I got from Hobby Lobby and there's a little close-up of it so you can see what it looks like. And these are on sale very often at Hobby Lobby and also you can use the 40% coupon. And then I just got this welcome sign. It's wooden, let me get closer so you can see it. My friend Megan runs a Etsy shop and she makes these so I can link her shop below if you're interested in that and she also makes wooden signs. This is the pillow that I have out for the summer season. It's just a pink and white pillow and I got that from Kirkland's. And I have this blanket here just draped on the side. Get a close-up so you can see the pretty colors. It's pink, white, and gray, like the whole theme of my house. And I got that one at Home Goods. Also, I just hung this sign in my entryway here. It says, welcome to our crazy, fun, loud, happy home. I got this one from Hobby Lobby. Get back a little bit so you can see it all. And I thought it just matched the whole entryway very well. So here's kind of just a big look of my entryway there. And over here in my living room on my end table here, I've got just this cute little display that I did that's kind of like a spring and summer display. Here I have my Ray Dunn Fly birdhouse and I put a pink ribbon on it. I've got this cute little squirrel that I got from Hobby Lobby. He's in the fall section right now. I got the bird from Hobby Lobby. And then I have my Ray Dunn Chirp birdhouse with a pink ribbon. I got this little white tree stump underneath the birdhouse from Bath and Body Works last year during fall. And then I have this owl with the pink leaves and I love this candle holder so much. I got this during the fall season of Bath and Body Works last year as well. And then I just have a pink candle there. And here is my kitchen table centerpiece. So I have this table runner that is the Buffalo check. I got that from Hobby Lobby and they actually have them now in the fall section. That's where I got it last year and it is longer. I just like to fold mine to make them shorter. And then I have this wooden tray down here. So I did wind up painting this myself. I did get the tray from Hobby Lobby. So I painted the tray white and then the handles this light gray and I used chalk paint to paint it. But I did get it in the section in Hobby Lobby where they sell like all of the wooden craft things that you can uh, DIY basically. And then I have my three Ray Dunn pitchers that say sweet tea, iced tea, and lemonade. And then I put these tall flowers in there just to kind of give it some color and some height. And I got those flowers from Hobby Lobby. And then over here in my kitchen, so this is a little section that I decorated. I've got this Ray Dunn sunshine bowl that's yellow inside with some fake lemons and I got those lemons from Hobby Lobby. I have this candle, it's Fresh Lemon, and the brand is called Village Candle. They sell this at TJ Maxx. And then in my Ray Dunn pour pitcher, I have these pretty pink and yellow daisies, I believe. And I got those from Hobby Lobby as well. And then I just still have my little bunny here that I had from the spring holding my uh, brush for my dishes. And I think he's a perfect addition for the summer as well. Also, you guys are gonna laugh. I bought this pink Dawn dish soap, which I needed dish soap anyway to kind of match the decor, which is pink and yellow. So I don't know, I just thought it was a cute addition and it smells really good. And then up here on the little area that kind of divides the kitchen and the living room, I've got a little centerpiece type thing here. So I've got this pineapple, ignore the toy mess in the background, please. I have this pineapple, I got this one from Home Goods. And then in the middle, I have got that floral centerpiece. I believe I got that from Kirkland's. And then I have this sign that says Aloha and that's from Hobby Lobby. And then I have a Ray Dunn shine watering can, again with some more of those pink and yellow daisies to match the theme. And this lighting seems terrible right here, but I have these dish towels in my oven and they're flowers with bees. I don't know why it's coming off so bright, but it's pink and yellow. And I actually turn these around 
they actually say be they actually say be kind so if you're looking for them that's what they look like and i got those from home goods and now we've made it to the main attraction my coffee bar i love changing this thing up for the holidays so i'm going to show you guys section by section so i put some starfish here i got those from hobby lobby and then the two ceramic lemon pieces i got those from the Target dollar spot. Then I have the Ray Den Hello Sunshine mugs that came in a set. And then on the top level of the tiered tray, I have this cute gnome. You guys, how adorable is this little gnome? Let me show you. Adorable, right? I got this from my friend, Elisa. She has an Etsy shop as well, so I will link her shop below too. And then I have my Ray Den summer mug with some of these cute pineapple stirrers that I got from the Target dollar spot. And over here, I have this fake cup of lemonade, which I thought turned out just super cute. So I got the pink cup, which is kind of iridescent, if you could see, and I got that from Home Goods. And then I got the pink and white straw from Amazon. It came in a it came in a package of like 25 or 50, I can't remember. And then these cute lemons, look at this. So I got these from the Target dollar spot, if I can grab one. And they're actually ice cubes, so you can freeze them. But I decided to use them kind of as like a fake lemonade look. So I thought that turned out really cute. And here I have some canisters. So this seashells canister is actually a decal. So it's just an older style canister that I found on clearance by Ray Dunn. I'll put the link for the Macari shop that I buy the decals from because she is spot on with her decals. I love them so much. And then I have the sand canister from Ray Dunn, which is the actual canister. I tie just a little bit of string up there to give it kind of a beachy vibe and then i put another starfish there and i got that one from hobby lobby as well and the pink just matches the whole theme very well down here i have my lemons with this cute lemonade box the box i got from the target dollar spot and again those are the same lemons i got from hobby lobby now in the next section i did get this idea from a post on instagram I can't remember the exact person's name, but it's not exactly the same, but it's inspired by that post. So in the back, I have another fake lemonade cup. And then I've got a Ray Dunn pour pitcher with some more of those daisies. One of the Ray Dunn sweet sugar containers. I just took the lid off and I put the pink and white straws in there. And then I have a fake ceramic lemon from the Target dollar spot. The squeeze juicer by Ray Dunn and then this adorable garland that's lemonade themed and pink and white and i got that one from etsy as well and i'll put her shop below too and then i just have my dream mug over here on my keurig and the blue inside of the dream mug matches the rest of my mugs that i have hanging up here so i have the beach mug the surf mug the sea mug the mermaid mug and the swim mug I wanted them to be all kind of beachy themed. Here is an overview, again, of my coffee bar. What do you guys think? I am in love with this. I say that with every design I do, but I think this is one of my favorites. And I really love the pink and yellow together and then the touches of blue. I think it just turned out really pretty.
so that is it for my summer decor video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and i'll see you guys in the next video bye